Well, I'm building a bridge to cross a creek with my tractor. So here's what I'm doing. Uh, I've got, what you're looking at is upside down. This is the bottom of the bridge. Uh, I'm not through with it yet by any means, but I've got about two and a half hours in this so far, and uh, this has gone real well. Uh, but let me show you how the bridge is gonna be constructed. Okay, so I've got some beautiful angle iron, half inch wide by it's three inches by four inches. Three by four by half inch. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a four by six beam on top of that. So it's gonna be sitting like that. Wood on top of metal, wood over metal. Um, and I will have to, because, and I showed you this on another video, but in case you didn't see that, because of the radius, because of that radius right there, the wood is not gonna sit flush in there. So I need to chamfer this side here just a little bit so the wood will, will have a chamfer here so it will meet flush here and here. I've got two seven footers uh, braces going down at about uh, equidistance in. I had to uh, try to miss my, my uh, bolts and stuff because I'm gonna weld them in. But um, I'm also gonna put all oh, some little, I had a bunch of scrap down there like a some two footers and three footers and stuff of, of this angle so i'll put uh, i'll put one across here i'll put one across those and uh, you know a couple one here one there in other words i'll put about i don't know six at least uh braces in there and uh then i'll have to drag it out of the barn and um start putting some uh start putting the wood on the top of it so here it is all laid out. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna get to welding it. Uh, what I'll do uh, now is come in here and put my two by eights across it, and then I'm gonna put uh, two two or two by sixes rather rather across it, eight foot two by sixes, and then I'm gonna come in here with two two by sixes, twelve foot long that will be will act as uh, they just kind of a disperse the weight weight dispersal runners. Uh, down right at the tread of my tractor, which is about five feet, I think. And so right at, right in there, I'll have two two by sixes on each side, so four two by sixes, to uh, disperse the weight as the tractor goes across the bridge. Paint it, I'm sure it'll be red like everything else around here. And uh, then we will drag it down there and set it in place. I didn't notice any racking when I picked it up, uh, so all the bracing is doing its job. Heavy duty bridge. If you didn't see the other video, the smaller bridge that is for uh, four wheeler, um, golf cart, things like that. If you didn't see that, that bridge, um, I will link to it right about there. And also at the end, of, uh, very end of the video, there'll be another link, you can uh, a clickable link for you to look at that. It's a pretty neat bridge, got a handrail on it. Uh, pretty involved process time wise what I have in this bridge right now would probably be four hours maybe um, maybe somewhere around that um, 
so not bad at all uh it'll take about another hour to to put the wood on it another uh few minutes to paint it because i've got an airless rig but then probably 30 minutes to clean out the the airless rig so uh you know five six seven hours uh, not bad for a bridge that will hold up um, a lot of weight a lot of weight nice bridge to cross a creek marked my chalk lines down it so i can shoot my screws in a straight line we'll start shooting some screws so i'm using a big screwdriver to uh, line it up the area i mean the chalk marks using a pretty good size screw it's a little bit more of a quarter inch shaft on it probably i'm going to have runners running down this way some two by sixes so i'm really not as concerned about how close uh about getting these as close together as i normally would on a deck or something like that put one in and go down to the other side So here is the bridge in place. I didn't show you painting it. Painting it's messy. Doesn't take long with an airless rig, but it's messy. So didn't want to get the camera out exposed to the paint, but here it is. Got the two tuba sixes uh, running down on each side, right under the tread of where my tractor hits. And uh, been over it multiple times as filthy as you can see was having to carry uh, dirt from from this side back here where I was digging the dirt to that side um, to, to build the berm Let me show you the berm here and uh, I will have to from time to time it's already started settling a little bit you can see where the the tractor comes up got a little divot there i'll have to add some dirt from time to time it'll rain it'll pack it down after several rains and several dry times driving over it get a little grass growing on it it'll be fine probably won't have to uh to uh worry about that anymore but anyway it looks nice uh very heavy duty really impressed uh i got very little sag when i put the tractor on it very very little sag uh, from a you know around 6,000 pounds of weight on it so uh, and again it's uh it's uh it wasn't hard to make it all so if you want to do something like this angle iron uh, wood over angle iron I think is a very good combina combination not an engineer can't tell you the stru structural qualities of it how you know how well it's gonna uh, how much weight it's going to hold or anything like that but i can tell you it'll hold six thousand pounds because <laughs> i've had it on there many times uh driving across it anyway i like it looks good looks good there it is and I didn't show every little detail of it but go back and look at my other video a little bit more detail maybe on building a bridge uh, across the creek similar to this except it's for an ATV and uh, a golf cart so again I had my tractor on that one too so that was a 6,000 pound bridge it was just quite a bit more narrow than this and I can't uh, couldn't drive my tractor on it especially when I put my handrails on it but I'll put a link to that uh, at the end of this video. Check it out and uh, check out the details on building this if you have a creek that you need to get across. This'll do it. We're gone.